hello friends uh, here this is our another video on the determination of percentage volatile matter in a coal sample so this is second experiment for the approximate analysis of the coal sample so here we are going to determine the volatile matter so here this is the procedure which i have written and uh, rather reading this i will show you the lab activity so keep watching this here we are going to weigh the coal sample which is obtained from the experiment 1 means after removing the volatile material from that so this coal sample is from experiment 1 removing moisture content and here is the weight of coal sample i kept all these readings in the table so at the end of this video i will show you the detailed description of the experiment so here is the weight of the crucible with coal sample i'll spread this and now i will cover it with the lid since i do not have such kind of arrangement for this experiment so here it is important to mention that this volatile material experiment is done with the help of lid without lid we can't do this so this is why and since I do not have some good arrangement or suitable so I put this sample inside the muffle furnace for half an hour. Now we keep this sample in the desiccator. This is the sample which we, we obtain after volatile material removal. So here you see this volatile after removal of volatile material it is black because we use lead. If we don't use lead, then it get oxidized in the presence of the air. Here you can see this. Here is the ash content which is carried out without lead. And here this black one is removal of volatile material with the help of lead. So that is the difference using lead and not using the lead. And here is the final weight of the sample with crucible. Right. So we are going to put this value in the table. Now the readings which we have observed from the experiment which we have done are in this table and from there we are going to calculate the values of weight of coal sample taken and the loss in the weight. Guys here you see this thing. Here we are having loss in weight is more than the weight of the sample. How it is possible? So don't you think it is very strange kind of thing but I must tell you this is because the crucible which we have that is also having moisture. So when we kept that crucible at uh, 700 degrees centigrade, so it loses some moisture content from that crucible. So this weight loss is just because of that. So uh, I must suggest you to take the readings after the experiments with the sample and after removing the sample from the same crucible you just weight that um, crucible again so take that value from there only not from this uh, crucible or which is not heated before doing the experiment okay so that is just because of that so here this is just for your writing and uh, you, in this manner you can calculate the volatile percentage volatile material in the given coal sample so the importance of measuring this volatile matter in the coal sample is that the high volatile matter content means that high portion of fuel will be distilled over over a gas vapors means it is vaporized first a large portion of which escapes unburned so the fuel value of the coal sample will be less so but it would be better that volatile content in the coal sample should be less or it is undesirable so lesser is the volatile matter better is the fuel value or the calorific value of the coal sample so i hope you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful please subscribe my channel give me a thumbs up thank you all thanks for watching